Hello, this is Jonathan Brooks with the Curzonet Group. I'm joined today by Kimberly Demery, Oris Collins with RVA Home Spec, and James Snyder with American Appraisal. James, the first question is, how do the current market conditions with COVID-19 affect the appraisal process? The appraisal process hasn't been affected um, too greatly. I go to the appointments now and uh, either people either, um, one client wanted me to wear a mask and has them handy um, so I can complete the appraisal. And um, most of the time people just uh, keep the distance, keep a distance. And then there is basically, we set up an appointment and I have a lockbox access and uh, nobody's at the appointment. Um, but overall, that's basically kind of the way it's, it's always been. Um, don't need too much participation from the homeowner or anything like that anyway. What are some of the appraisal alternatives to inspecting a home during this time? Uh, we've heard from uh, Paige Yance with CNF Mortgage, one of our lenders, that doing drive-by appraisals, that, that sort of thing. So what are some of the alternatives you're having to deal with? That's correct. A lot of a lot of folks are just getting drive-by appraisals. If you could do that, um, if the lender will accept that, uh, usually they'll accept it on uh, credit lines and so forth. Or actually, they've um, changed the guidelines to go ahead and get a 2055 form drive-by appraisal, as opposed to a full appraisal. And they are using that in lieu of a. Uh, 1004 full appraisal, full inspection with an interior access to the home and all else. So drive-bys are being utilized a lot more. Okay. Is that request coming from the lender? Sorry, I just want to clarify that. So the lender would tell you this is okay to do a drive-by? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, it is they say it is okay to do a drive-by and they also have a form in there now um, COVID-19 form, how it, um, how, how it may affect the marketability. Gotcha. Uh, so the forms in there, obviously it'll straighten that what's going on and then it has changed to a drive-by and why. Okay. Oris, what yes, step sir. are you taking if the house is occupied in order to stay safe? Um, so I've got masks and Gloves, um, I sanitize before and after the home inspection. Um, and really just keeping distant, you know, trying to, trying to stay away from each other. Um, a lot of times people want to follow me around during an inspection and I've just asked them to sort of, you know, refrain from that and, you know, just go over the review of the inspection uh, later on. So are the, sell the sellers aren't staying in the home for the inspections then? I haven't had any, no, they, I mean, I, I imagine they have somewhere they can drive around for, it's only a couple hours, so um, I haven't had any sellers stay at home. Are you communicating differently with buyers with the current pandemic? Uh, who are you recommending, and also who are you recommending to come to the inspection uh, wrap up? Right, so I've been suggesting that we go outside to review the, the inspection, weather permitting, um, just to have a little more fresh air and just give, give each other space. Um, and then I, I've sort of been leaving it up to, you know, the discretion of the buyers. I feel like it's, it's an important investment that they're making. You know, if they really want their mom or dad to be there, I, I feel like, you know, it's, as long as we're keeping distant and, and people are being, you know, safe, then I'm okay with that. But I prefer that just the, the primary buyers be at the inspection. Okay, well, those were the questions that we had today. Kim, did you want to add anything else before we get off here? No, I think it's just, you know, everybody's being safe. Everyone's doing their due diligence that they need to do to keep within the COVID guidelines. So the market is moving, things are moving. So you just need to keep that in mind. And it sounds according to these two experts that things are going along as normal, just with extra precautions. So, you know, if you're still thinking about buying or selling, things are still in a great market to do that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, well, I want to take a second to thank James with American Appraisals and Oris with RVA. Thank Home. you. Really appreciate your guys' time, and our clients will also appreciate your guys' time. 
Yeah, you thanks a lot. And Kim, have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you.